CEO of OpenAI Sam Oldman. Sam Oldman is an American entrepreneur and investor who was born on April 22, 1985, in Chicago, Illinois. He is best known as the former president of Y Combinator, a leading startup accelerator that has helped launch companies such as Airbnb, Dropbox, and Reddit. Oldman attended Stanford University but dropped out in 2005 to pursue his entrepreneurial dreams. His first startup, Looped, was a location-based social networking app that launched in 2006. The app was ahead of its time and gained popularity, but ultimately failed to become a dominant player in the market. Oldman then went on to found several other startups, including Hydrazine Capital, which focused on investing in early-stage startups, and OpenAI, an artificial intelligence research laboratory. In 2014, Oldman joined Y Combinator as a part-time partner and became the president in 2016, succeeding co-founder Paul Graham. During his time at Y Combinator, Oldman helped the accelerator grow into a global brand and expanded its services to include a startup school, an investment fund, and a research arm. He stepped down as president in 2019 but remains a board member. Oldman is also a prolific angel investor and has invested in numerous successful startups, including Airbnb, Stripe, and Reddit. He is known for his focus on investing in companies that he believes can make a positive impact on the world. In addition to his work in the tech industry, Oldman is a prominent supporter of Universal Basic Income, UB, and has been an advocate for its implementation in the United States. He has also been vocal about his concerns regarding the potential dangers of artificial intelligence and has called for responsible development and regulation of the technology. Overall, Oldman is a prominent figure in the tech industry and has had a significant impact on the growth and success of numerous startups. His work at Y Combinator and OpenAI has helped shape the direction of the industry, and his advocacy for UB and responsible AI development continues to influence public discourse. Oldman is also a well-known public speaker and has given talks on topics such as technology, entrepreneurship, and the future of work. He has spoken at events such as the TechCrunch Disrupt Conference, the Web Summit, and the World Economic Forum. Oldman is also involved in various philanthropic activities. In 2017, he pledged $1 billion to fund the creation of OpenAI, an organization dedicated to advancing artificial intelligence in a safe and beneficial manner. He has also donated to political campaigns and organizations, including the campaigns of progressive politicians such as Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Oldman is known for his unconventional approach to business and his willingness to take risks. He has been praised for his ability to identify promising startups and for his focus on investing in companies that have the potential to make a positive impact on society. His work has earned him numerous accolades, including a spot on Forbes 30 Under 30 list in 2011 and 2012. Despite his success, Oldman has faced criticism for his views on UB and his involvement in the tech industry. Some have argued that his support for UB is unrealistic and could have unintended consequences, while others have criticized the tech industry for its lack of diversity and the negative impact it has had on society. Sam Oldman is a complex figure who has made significant contributions to the tech industry and beyond. His entrepreneurial spirit, investing acumen, and philanthropic efforts have helped shape the direction of the industry and the world at large, and his work will likely continue to have an impact for years to come. Here are some additional facts about Sam Oldman. Oldman is a prolific blogger and has written extensively about topics such as entrepreneurship, technology, and politics. His blog, which can be found at samoldman.com, includes essays on subjects such as the future of education, the importance of building a strong company culture, and the need for political reform. Oldman is a strong supporter of political causes and has donated significant sums of money to progressive campaigns and organizations. He has given money to groups such as MoveOn.org and the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, and has also been a vocal advocate for causes such as gun control and immigration reform. Oldman is an avid reader and has cited books such as Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari and The Lean Startup by Eric Ries as influential in his thinking about entrepreneurship and technology. Oldman is a fitness enthusiast and has said that he tries to work out at least six days a week. He has also completed a number of endurance events, including a 50-mile ultramarathon. Oldman is a self-described introvert and has said that he often struggles with public speaking and networking.
However, he has also emphasized the importance of pushing oneself out of one's comfort zone in order to grow as a person and a leader. Oldman is an animal lover and has several pets, including a dog named Stanley. He has shared photos of his pets on social media and has said that spending time with animals helps him to de-stress and recharge. Sam Oldman has publicly identified as a Democrat and has donated to several Democratic political campaigns and causes over the years. In the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Oldman supported Bernie Sanders during the Democratic primary and later endorsed Hillary Clinton in the general election. He has been critical of Republican policies and politicians, particularly on issues such as immigration and climate change. That being said, Oldman has also expressed frustration with the Democratic Party at times, particularly with regard to its handling of economic issues and its failure to appeal to working class voters. Sam Oldman grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and that his mother is a dermatologist. Oldman's Jewish background is also well known, and he has been open about his faith and the influence it has had on his life. Oldman's early exposure to computers, which he received at the age of eight, helped spark his interest in technology and entrepreneurship. Oldman attended John Burroughs School, a private school in St. Louis, before enrolling at Stanford University to study computer science. As you mentioned, he dropped out of Stanford in 2005 to co-found Looped, a location-based social networking app. Oldman has since become a prominent figure in the tech industry, and his work at Looped, as well as his involvement with startups and venture capital firms, has earned him numerous accolades and awards. In 2017, as you noted, Oldman received an honorary Doctor of Engineering degree from the University of Waterloo in recognition of his contributions to the field of technology and entrepreneurship. Looped in 2005, at age 19, Oldman co-founded and became CEO of Looped, a location-based social networking mobile application. After raising more than $30 million in venture capital, Looped was shut down in 2012 after failing to get traction. It was acquired by the Green Dot Corporation for $43.4 million. Y Combinator Oldman began as a part-time partner at Y Combinator in 2011 in February. 2014, Oldman was named president of Y Combinator by its co-founder, Paul Graham. In a 2014 blog post, Oldman said that the total valuation of Y Combinator companies had surpassed $65 billion, including well-known companies like Airbnb, Dropbox, Zenefits and Stripe. In September 2014, Oldman announced that he would become president of YC Group, which included Y Combinator and other units. Oldman said that he hoped to expand Y Combinator to fund 1,000 new companies per year. He also tried to expand the types of companies funded by YC, especially hard technology companies. In October 2015, Oldman announced YC Continuity, a $700 million growth stage equity fund that invests in YC companies. Also in October 2015, Oldman announced Y Combinator Research, a non-profit research lab, and donated $10 million to the group. YC Research has thus far announced research on basic income, the future of computing, education, and building new cities. Oldman was named the top investor under 30 by Forbes magazine in 2015, one of the best young entrepreneurs in technology by Business Week magazine in 2008 and listed as one of the five most startup founders between 1979 and 2009 by his colleague Paul Graham. In March 2nd YC announced Oldman's transitioning into a chairman position to focus more on OpenAI. This decision came shortly after YC announced it would be moving its headquarters to San Francisco as of early 2020. He was no longer affiliated with YC. Angel Investing Oldman is an investor in many companies, including Airbnb, Stripe, Reddit, Asana, Pinterest, Teespring, Zenefits, Farm Logs, True North, Shoptix, Instacart, Optimizely, Verbling, Soylent, Reserve, Vicarious, Clever, Notable PDF, Now Cami, and Retro Biosciences. He was the CEO of Reddit for eight days in 2014 after CEO Yushin Wong resigned. He announced the return of Steve Huffman as CEO on July 10, 2015. Nuclear Energy He is chairman of the board for Helion and Oklo, two nuclear energy companies. He has said that nuclear energy is one of the most important areas of technological development. 
OpenAI Oldman is the CEO of OpenAI, which is a capped profit research company whose goal is to advance artificial intelligence in a way that is most likely to benefit humanity as a whole, rather than cause harm. The organization was initially funded by Oldman, Brockman, Elon Musk, Jessica Livingston, Peter Thiel, Amazon Web Services, Infosys, and YC Research. In total, when the company launched in 2015, it had raised $1 billion from outside funders. WorldCoin Oldman co-founded WorldCoin in 2020. WorldCoin aims to give its new digital money to every human on Earth for free by using privacy-preserving iris recognition to ensure that its users do not claim their free share more than once. WorldCoin paused its work in multiple countries after local contractors departed or regulations made doing business impossible. Philanthropy During the COVID-19 pandemic, Oldman helped fund and create Project Covalence which aimed to help researchers rapidly launch clinical trials in partnership with TrialSpark, a clinical trial startup. After the bank failure of Silicon Valley Bank in March 2023, Oldman gave money to multiple startups. Politics According to reporting by Vox's Recode, there was speculation that Oldman would run for governor of California in the 2018 election, which he did not enter. In 2018, Oldman launched the United Slate, a political movement focused on fixing housing and healthcare policy. In 2019, Oldman held a fundraiser at his house in San Francisco for Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang in May. 2020, Oldman donated $250,000 to American Bridge 21st Century, a super PAC supporting Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden. Oldman co-founded Looped, a location-based social networking mobile application, at the age of 19 and became its CEO. He raised more than $30 million in venture capital, but the app failed to gain traction and was shut down in 2012. Looped was later acquired by the Green Dot Corporation for $43.4 million. Oldman joined Y Combinator in 2011 as a part-time partner and was later named president of Y Combinator by its co-founder, Paul Graham. Under Oldman's leadership, the total valuation of Y Combinator companies surpassed $65 billion, and Oldman also launched YC Continuity, a $700 million growth stage equity fund that invests in YC companies. He announced his transition to a chairman position at Y Combinator in March 2019 to focus more on OpenAI. Oldman is an investor in several companies, including Airbnb, Stripe, Reddit, Asana, Pinterest, Instacart, and Soylent. He also co-founded WorldCoin in 2020 and is the CEO of OpenAI, a capped profit research company that aims to advance artificial intelligence in a way that benefits humanity as a whole. Oldman is also involved in philanthropy, having helped fund and create Project Covalence during the COVID-19 pandemic. There was speculation that Oldman would run for governor of California in the 2018 election, and he launched the United Slate, a political movement focused on fixing housing and healthcare policy. Oldman held a fundraiser for Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang in 2019 and donated to American Bridge 21st Century, a super PAC supporting Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden in 2020. Sam Oldman is openly gay and has been out since his teenage years personal life Oldman has been vegetarian since childhood. He dated his Loop co-founder Nick Sivo for nine years before they broke up shortly after the company was acquired. There is not any information on Sam Oldman's current partner. His personal life is not a matter of public record and should be respected as his private matter. Sam Oldman's brother named Jack Oldman. Jack Oldman is Sam Oldman's younger brother. Like his brother, Jack is also an entrepreneur and investor. He co-founded Lattice, a performance management platform for businesses, and served as its CEO until 2021. Jack was also previously a partner at the startup Accelerator Y Combinator, where his brother Sam was formerly the president. Jack is a graduate of Harvard University, where he earned a degree in economics. There is very limited public information available about Sam Oldman's father. However, it is known that his parents divorced when he was young and he was primarily raised by his mother, Connie Gibstein. It is unclear what his father's name is or what he does for a living. Sam Oldman has not publicly spoken about his father, so there is not much information available on this topic.